Hey everyone, it's Lion here. Today I'm showcasing the apartment interior I've created for my Cafe Leo. Alright, so as you walk in through the entranceway, you'll see I've got a little light switch on the left there. And to the right of the doorway, I've got a cabinet here with a couple of open drawers. You can see I've got some papers and money in there. And on top of that, I have an old fashioned style TV. This is a really fun little build and I'll probably showcase it on one of my ideas videos in the future. To the left of the TV, I've got a nice little plant pot using a brown bucket as the kind of pot there. To the right of that, you can see I've got a small speakerphone and I've also got that little lamp that I've showcased in one of my videos before. To the right of the doorway, I have a little radiator just below the window there. And then on the wall, I have a shelf with a little hanger there so that he can hang some clothes such as that suit and I've also got a suitcase. I've got a small desk chair over here next to the larger sofa. On this sofa I've got a little dude here on his laptop. I really like this little sofa because it's a really nice colour. I've got that dark red there and it kind of contrasts with the build very nicely. You'll also notice I've got a little cat looking underneath the sofa. To the right of that I have another smaller cabinet this also has an open drawer and you can see I've got some 5p coins in there. I've got one of those nice brick built telephones next to the newer iPhone as you can see. Next to that I've got a bed and this is actually taken from one of my modulars. It does have a suitcase above with a little sock in it. Perhaps he's planning on travelling and then I've also got an empty bottle below. Above the bed I have a small painting and then there's also a little light here on the wall. Now just by the large window you'll notice that I've got these little curtains on either side. Those are made by partially fitting together some plates and tiles. I think it looks really good. I've also got another radiator below that as well. I like the way it turned out from the outside as it's really nice to be able to look into the building and actually see some of the details. The door does lead to a bit of a death drop at the moment but I do plan on building a lift in the future. The floor is tiled in the dark tan colour, but other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about this build. I'd love to know what you think down in the comment section below, but until next time, thank you for watching.